Hello everyone, welcome to this show where we are exploring the journey of mangoes from India to the world. And we are here at KB Exports Bedchit Farm in Gujarat, which is just six hours drive from Mumbai, situated on the border of Maharashtra and Gujarat. And let's see how the farm looks like. Well, do you know that mango has a lot of health benefits? Mango comes with a lot of vitamins like vitamin C, vitamin K, vitamin B6, B9, along with magnesium and potassium. Mango can reduce the cholesterol level. It can prevent many types of cancer and uh, it can improve your gut health. For over 4,000 years, mango has been part of India's Ayurvedic medicine and India is a land of mangoes where you can find over thousand varieties of mangoes. Kesar is among the most expensive varieties of mango and this particular type of mango is mostly grown in and around Gujarat. This variety was first cultivated by the Nababs of Junagar in 1931 and was named Kesar in 1934. According to an official release by the Indian Ministry of Commerce and Industry, India exported mangoes worth $47.98 million between 2023 and 2024. So, how do these Indian mangoes travel from the farms of Gujarat and Maharashtra to the shores of the US, Europe or the Middle East? We are sitting in a mango farm. Yeah. Uh, so, what is the area of the mango farm and what percentage of it is owned by KB Exports? And uh, what percentage is externally? So in Gujarat, uh, we actually do more of contract farming that owning our cell farms. But from a number perspective, I can tell you that we roughly own around 800 acres of our own farm. Uh, we have around 1200 acres of contract farming. Uh, we work with close to 200 plus farmers. Tell us about the variety of mangoes grown over here. Uh, you know what you see, this is the Kesar mango. Uh, but likewise, Kesar, you've got the sherry, you've got langada. Uh, yeah, so these are the varieties which are grown on this farm. So this is Kesar, right? This is Kesar, that's correct. Yes, yes. So this would range around what, 200 to 250 grams? This is Kesar variety. We check the maturity index. We check the color and the size. We check the size. We check the size of 200 grams plus. We check the export. And the other one is the powder. The other one is the spot. We compare the maturity. And we check the harvest. We check the harvest. We check the stock. We check the stock. We check the stock. We check the harvesting. We check the harvest. We check the harvest. क्रेट मधुन इतन वैन ने पैकाउसला सॉर्टिंग रीडिंग होन पैकाउसला पोस्ट किया जाता है। So what is the volume of case of mangoes that you are shipping to the US? Yeah, so 40% of mangoes that grow across the world is grown in India. Interestingly, I think only 5% of the entire exports that happen right is from India. So there's too much of potential that we see. There are untapped markets that we feel that. Uh, the Indian mangoes can actually go, right? So we are uh, in the midst of a peak season right now. Uh, this year, uh, interestingly, cases started much earlier. Cases generally starts during the mid of May, but this year uh, it started around end of March. So what we see is uh, we'll actually have a longer season. So cases special variety is that it's got a thick skin uh, compared to Alfonso. Uh, so, so, you know, areas where the temperature is uh, you know, below 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, Alfonso would not really stay longer uh, compared to Kesar, right? And we have seen that um, in retail, uh, there's more demand on Kesar than Alfonso. Uh, but yeah, some people would need Alfonso for sure. 
So we're doing a mix of both Alfonso and Kesar, but right now we're doing around 60% Kesar and 40% Alfonso. Uh, since we're uh, sitting in front of a Kesar tree, so what is the typical shelf, li uh, shelf life of a Kesar? Uh, so what we generally intend to do is, you know, ship it during its, uh, if it's semi-ripe stage, because we ensure we want to ensure that the customer at least gets close to a seven to ten days, uh, you know, of of a shelf life on arrival. Uh, and therefore, they have never been ripened completely. Uh, they ripen during the transit, and uh, one, once it reaches to the customer, he at least gets a seven days, if not ten days, for sure. Yeah. How much time does it take uh, from the firm to the end customer? Uh, let me take an example of US, right? So we would harvest on Monday. Uh, we know get the packing done on Monday night itself. It goes for irradiation maybe on Tuesday. We take up a late night flight on Tuesday. Uh, it would reach maybe Wednesday, uh, right? And yeah, so you know around three or four days. Uh, you know if I'm talking about US, right from the harvest to reaching to the end customer, around three to four days of, of transit. Yeah, and so then you still get around seven days of uh, you know official life. Yeah. It takes around 72 hours. Roughly 72 hours, yeah. Because, you know, right now, because of the Red Sea issue, uh, you know, a lot of load of the sea freight has actually moved to air freight. Um, so I think everyone in the industry is facing that challenge. I mean, we are not far from that. Even we face uh, similar situations of not getting, uh, you know, the flights on time or uh, the specific direct flights, right? So sometimes uh, you have longer transit, uh, you know, but yeah, roughly around 72 hours, you know, if you're able to get a direct flight. Since you mentioned the Red Sea crisis, so does that affect the price of the fruit for the end customer? Yeah, so it, it definitely had an impact. I think this year, uh, what we see is uh, around 15 to 20 percent hike in terms of what we were doing the last year. And this is not only to do with US, uh, even if you're shipping something to UK, right? we have seen the price change happening. And this is largely to do with more than the product cost, it's more to do with the freight cost. What is the volume of mangoes you have shipped so far this year? You know, every country is different. Uh, I can tell you we would have done around, roughly around uh, 800 tons so far, uh, easily. Out of that, uh, close to 30-40% uh, is already going to the US. Well, we have seen how the farm looks like. It's full of mangoes. Now let's go to the KB Exports pack house where we'll see how the mangoes are packed before it goes to the airport and finally to the end destination in some other country, maybe US or Europe or anywhere in the world. Let's go. Well, we have reached KB Exports Pack House. Now we'll see how the mangoes are packed before it reaches the shore of US and Europe and other parts of the world. Ensuring that these exquisite fruit reach global markets in pristine condition involves a meticulous process, starting right here in the firm. Once harvested, each mango undergoes rigorous treatments to comply with the phytosanitary regulations of importing countries. For markets like the European Union, New Zealand, Iran, South Korea, hot water treatment is essential. As in the recommended practice, mangoes are treated immediately within 24 hours after harvest or delivery. 
The fruits are dipped in hot water for a certain time period depending on their weight. Mangoes weigh up to 500 grams are treated at 48 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes. Those between 500 and 700 grams require 75 minutes and larger fruits up to 900 grams need 90 minutes at the same temperature. In addition to these treatments, mesh netting is compulsory for exports to some countries, including South Korea, to further ensure the quality and safety of the mangoes. This reduces the chances of the fruit getting damaged during transit. For markets like the USA and Australia, irradiation treatment is mandatory. This process uses gamma radiation to eliminate pests and pathogens, ensuring the mangoes are safe and have a long shelf life. Alfonso, Kesar, Benganapalli, Rajapuri and Totapuri varieties undergo irradiation within a range of 400 to 1000 grays. But before the mangoes are sent for the irradiation process, they are cleaned in an automated machine with water and brush, which removes the dust from the mango skin and enhances its texture. Packaging is another critical step. Mangoes are packed in small boxes weighing 3.2 to 3.5 kilograms. This ensures that when the box of mangoes reaches the final destination, the customer gets a box weighing around 2.7 to 2.9 kilograms, as there could be some weight loss during the transit. While packing for the US, some extra precautions are taken and the boxes are sealed, ensuring that no foreign particle can enter the box of mangoes during transit. Maintaining the freshness of mangoes during their journey to international markets is vital. These mangoes must be transported within a controlled temperature range of 22 to 25 degrees Celsius. It is crucial to avoid temperature excursions during transit to prevent spoilage, and preserve their quality. Through stringent treatments and meticulous logistics, Indian mangoes delight consumers worldwide. Each step, from orchard to table, is a testament to the dedication and expertise that go into exporting these natural jewels. Indian mangoes nurtured with care, handled with precision, and delivered with love, bring a test of India to the world. Experience the magic of Indian mangoes. Test the tradition, savor the quality.